Hi friends, it's Kimberly. I um, was inspired by this bag that some of my Happy Mail came in. And um, so what I did is I just punched. I used this flower punch from the paper studio. It's just, it's not the smallest one, but it's, you know, a small one and I just punched. I just left the bag folded like this and I punched. I have all these little flowers that I'm making here. But I just turned my punch over and punched out. Make sure it's flat so you get, you know, two full flowers out of it. So I just punched out a bunch of those and then they're double so you need to separate them They're pretty fine so and just separate them out And then you're going to take your glue and just put a spot of glue In the centers of half. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just using a pair of regular tweezers and then I'm going to offset it. Okay, so I want this one to be in the off space. Oops, I dropped it. In the off space of that one. So I'm just going to center it and lay it down on there. Here, let me bring you in. Okay, so I want it to be in the off space so that it gives it the um, flower a fuller look. These tweezers aren't the best to use. <laughs> if you've got a pair of those curved ones, it would probably work better. I'm just going to offset it. And my last one. I'm going to offset it. And not all of them are perfect. I mean, it's pretty tedious to get these perfectly offset, but we'll just get it the best you can. They look cute regardless. And then I'm going to take another spot of glue and put it in the center again. And while I have my glue, I just put it in the center of all of them. I just think that it saves time to just do them and you'll get your little gem in the center of there before it before it dries and then I just take my gems and stick them in the center So you can use any shaped flower punch that you have. You can make these bigger. You can make them even go and use the smallest little punch. They make this in, they make that punch in the same um, shape, whoops, just smaller, um, which I have that one too, but I like this size. Okay, so then you have this cute, this cute little flowers. 
made out of a just a regular, you know, little paper bag. And you can use any bag. You could even use just a regular grocery sack um, bag. Okay, so I made that, and then I got to thinking. You know, when I first got these punches, I was so excited to get them because I really hadn't experienced punches. And so when I went out and bought all of my little punches like this, I brought them home and I was so excited to have them that I literally sat and punched a bunch of um, scrap papers that I had and book pages and that kind of stuff. And I put them all in this little bowl and I have used some of them. The, but the problem that I didn't like about it is, is that they're, they're just flat. They're not dimensional at all. So when you put them on a project, they just don't have any dimension to them. They just kind of get lost. So I pulled this little container out and I decided, well, why don't I make these little flowers with these two to kind of punch them up a bit? So that's what I've been doing. I've been matching them up. See, I put got out my little muffin tin and I'm putting the flowers together in here. So these are some that I've done. Um, I even started doing some of this shape flower and kind of mix matching. So this was the two different size punches with two different papers and then I put a gem in the center. Can you guys see that okay? And made, you know, a different two different papers and made that flower. So I did that one and yeah, so I'm just making you know some different little flowers to use. Yeah. Just with my punch, just with my punches. And these I already had punched out and they were just sitting there. I wasn't using them. So I decided to pull this little container that I had out this morning and Actually, last night I started this because I saw that, you know, when I got that little paper bag, I thought, what can I use this for? Because after I made that giraffe notebook cover, I've never really been into the animal print papers and the animal print stuff, but I really like the way that that little notebook came out. And I kind of, you know, didn't really have any desire to use animal print stuff. But now I'm thinking that there, I have kind of an interest in the animal print stuff. So when I got that paper bag, I thought, gee, I could do, you know, some stuff. So then I started to think, oh, I bet that would make adorable little flowers. And I think that it did make adorable little flowers. So I've just been sitting here you could sit and watch videos and do this. It seems like whenever I'm just doing watching TV or watching videos, <clears throat> my hands constantly have to be busy because if they're not whatever I'm doing, if it's watching TV, if it's not busy work, I'll fall asleep. Like honestly, I can't just not be doing something. My hands have to be busy. That's just the way that I am. And so this is one of those things that you could do in front of the TV. You know, get a TV tray. If you don't have a TV tray, get a cookie sheet. And just sit and make these little flowers. Which one I want to catch? I think this one and this one and this one. And it's fun. I like it. And then you have your own little flowers to embellish things with. So let me show you a close up of these little. And they're pretty delicate because that paper is really thin, but I really like that about them. Let me get some in my hand. Well, aren't those cute? Mm hmm. And I like these butterflies. So I just wanted to do a quick video and give you guys that idea and maybe you guys can make some of these. And um, 
yeah so that's it just wanted to show you that so I hope you all have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and God bless and as always God bless bye guys